First at five, it's being called the largest ever local meth bust by the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Millions of dollars in methamphetamine and heroin uncovered at a home in what was described as a quiet neighborhood in Northeast Bear County. And tonight, at least one suspect is behind bars as the details come to light. Some neighbors offering our Devin Clark their own accounts of what they call suspicious activity. We were able to find methamphetamine in every step of the process. A methamphetamine lab discovered inside of this house on the northeast side of Bear County turned out to be more sophisticated than Sheriff Javier Salazar says investigators first thought. The amounts of drugs found uh, and dollar amounts continue to climb as they do more work. Uh, in calculating. Salazar says the findings come after officials conducted surveillance on 39 year old Jose Hernandez traveling from Mexico, then stopped him on 281 in Bitters near Jones Maltzberger. There, they uncovered 10 kilograms of meth. Using information obtained at that traffic stop, a joint investigation led federal, state, and county law enforcement to the home on Lake Grove, where they tell us they uncovered millions of dollars in liquid meth, crystallized meth, as well as heroin and a makeshift factory to make the illegal drugs. We found all of their burners, all of their refrigeration equipment, uh, some pumps, some some sifters that they were using, some screens to use to, to, to sift the product. We found uh, vacuum sealing equipment. Salazar says investigators also found some of the finished product already vacuum sealed and suitcases ready to transport the work. It's believed that the house was only used to make drugs. While some neighbors we spoke to on this seemingly quiet block say they didn't even realize this house was occupied, others say they saw the writings on the wall. I knew they were selling drugs, but I didn't know they had a meth lab. Living in the community for eight years, Nan Johnson says she could spot the illegal activity happening right across the street. You can tell by the way the cars come and go. In this case, investigators say Hernandez was the ringleader. He is now facing federal drug charges as the investigation continues. In Northeast Bear County, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.